my channel. It is Pluto of Pluto's Muse. This is going to be a timeless collective reading for the general collective. Um, if you enjoy this reading, please like. Hold on, this thing is smoking. <laughs> this thing, oh, I hope my hair didn't hit it. Um, <laughs> oh my goodness. That was too much. Too many things were going on at once. If you enjoyed this reading, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Turn on your notification bells. Check the description box down below to book a personal reading with me. Book a personal reading with me if you need further guidance. Um, did I say the thing about channel songs? Channel songs are down below as well. So check out the channel songs when you're done the reading. I'm so tired of Mercury Retrograde, honestly. <laughs> I'm so tired. I'm already tired of it. I'm not going to lie. Before I got on camera, it was 555 on the time. Um, this was actually a while ago, though. I was going to film a while ago, and I didn't. Um, how's everybody's day going? <laughs> if anybody wants to leave a comment and tell me how their day is going, I would appreciate it. I'd like to talk to you guys. I hope everybody is doing well, like I said before. All right. Messages. We're going to see what comes out for the collective. We're going to use the Ancestor Oracle first. Messages for the collective in this reading spirit. What do they need to know? I actually went to, I feel like I need to talk to you. <laughs> I feel like I need to let you guys know what's going on with me. I actually went to um, a museum today. I chaperoned for my nephew's field trip and I loved it. It was an art museum. Um, and I'm really into art. I actually paint myself, um, not paint myself, not paint myself. Um, I, I do actually do makeup too. I do my makeup and stuff like that, but, uh, which is also an art form, right? But, um, I actually do paint and draw and things like that. All right. Bask in joy and light with summer. I'm not going to take it. Um, but yeah, I actually paint and draw and things like that. Um, that's a, another thing that I've always liked doing growing up outside of even astrology and being in the museum and just seeing all the artwork and stuff like that was so exciting not only that children children are so exciting to be around um you know that type of energy children and art and creativity and thing things like that and I think things like that um in your birth chart are usually related to the fifth house so leo I could be talking to a leo Look at this. Shaman, trust in higher forces. Somebody in here could be a shaman or some of you have shamanic ancestors. Um, but yeah, when I was inside of the museum, I was like so, uh, <laughs> so happy to be in there. I might actually use one of the things that I took a picture of as the thumbnail. Um and it was interesting because I was looking at some of the artwork and looking at, uh, you know, some of the little like, what do you call them? Um, little information boxes about the artists that we were looking at, 622 on the time. Um, and there was a woman named Judith Scott. All right. Um, she was a visionary artist. She was somebody that used uh, more of materials to make art rather than paint and things like that. Um, well, that's still materials, but you know, she like physically sculpted things or, um, her method was actually to like compile thread and different things on top of each other and then basically create some form of artwork. Um, very creative woman, very creative woman. She was using crutches in her stuff. She was using uh, shopping carts, things like that. And, you know, to the average person, to somebody that probably wouldn't, um, understand that for every person you know there's a different interpretation of the art it really would just look like a lot of different things a lot of different balls of yarn and you know potentially like knickknacks and trash and things like that but um Judith Judith Scott excuse me Judith Scott uh the reason why she was so interesting was because she had such a um, significant background story. Um, she was deaf and also um, had Down syndrome. And she also had a twin. Like, it was a lot of different things that was interesting about Judith. Um, and it kind of put into perspective for me, like, the... The reason why 
being an artist is a really amazing thing a lot of the times like for the people who really harness that energy and utilize it and want to create and want to paint and want to sketch and want to draw and um you know form different things like music even you know music is my favorite art form um for the people that write uh writers and poets and things like that art in general is literally like necessary can't stress it enough same way children are necessary children are necessary and art is necessary and today was necessary for me it it put it put some sort of like weird shift in my energy while I was at the museum like I could feel a a, a change in my energy like I was loving being around the kids um and hearing the kids talk and stuff like that but I also was like oracle wait for important information I, I was feeling like I was channeling like while I was there I was feeling like I was channeling I feel like I was gaining a higher perspective yes of what was going on of my life in general of my own skills and things like that or um, again like the meaning behind art why people become well-known artists like you know not everybody it's the same like narrative that people say where it's like some people will be the best artist in the world best drawer you know, best painter and drawer. It seems so hard to say. Um, best painter, best writer, you know, best um, whatever it is, whatever the best is for you. Makeup artist, hairstylist, barber. You could be the best person in the world at a certain skill. But if you're not willing to share the gift, you are another person who has wasted the gift. And I don't want to say it's wasted because you're not sharing it, but a lot of times the universe gives you talents and things for you to share them beyond the limitations that you may feel like you're experiencing. Because when it comes to Judith, I mean, what a bold woman for her to have all these disabilities and things like that and prioritize art in her life. Um, and then, you know, gain some level of success off of that. Like, I feel like that that was such a uh, a destined thing for her. Um, so for somebody in here, something about your destiny is important. Somebody in here could be an artist, all right, of any form, makeup artist, nail tech, hairstylist, chef, uh, painter, musician, anything like that. Somebody in here has a skill, a really good skill. Some of you guys are very talented. I have hidden talents myself. Some of you guys are really talented. Um, and this is the time to share. All right. This is the message behind this reading. It's time to share your gifts. OK. Because even seeing the kids respond to the artwork, like <laughs> a lot of the kids had the, the, the mindset of like, this is a lot of yarn or like, you know. Yeah, I didn't realize that this was artwork or whatever it was. And it was like, it was almost like the story behind it meant more than the piece. Okay? So for some of you, again, like, you could be ashamed of where you come from, ashamed of where you've been, um, you know, embarrassed about certain things that you've experienced. But if you're able to transmute the things that you've gone through or utilize them as fuel instead of treating them like some sort of burden or um, weight on your back, I'm getting that you'll have success in that. All right. Somebody needs to know this messages for the collective in this reading. What's the time on this? Because I just went in. You have mirror guardian. Take time to reflect. Yeah. Somebody needs to go within. I just heard Nadia. Somebody's name could be Nadia. Somebody needs to take some time to go within and reflect on their life. Moon, take note of intuitive messages. Cancer, Pisces, energy. Also getting Libra. Mirror Guardian, take time to reflect. Take note of intuitive messages. Somebody needs to take a second to listen to their intuition, to listen to what their intuition is telling them. Okay. great teacher learn from spiritual experiences what their intuition is telling them about the spiritual experiences they've had that they're currently having as well 
I'm getting something about nebulas here. Somebody's name could be nebula. Um, or something about nebulas are significant. Okay. Somebody is a star seed. Somebody doesn't even come from this planet. Messages for the collective in this reading. Yes, look. Some of y'all coming from past lifetimes. Y'all not coming from this planet because you've been here before. You're, you're a soul reincarnated. It's like you really on a person. You're a spirit, right? You could be a high priestess. You could be somebody that does some form of divination or um, you have a skill, a, a secret skill, a talent that, again, you've mastered in private. Some of you have past life ties to Egypt as well. You may work with uh, Bass or Bastet. You could also be in a season of independence. Somebody in here, there's a masculine that's watching you, all right? Whether it's a masculine spirit guide or a literal masculine, this masculine could be watching you right now while you're in this space of harnessing your mystic power, whatever that means for you, all right? I feel like this person views you as being very pure. This is somebody that actually really appreciates um, your opinion, your voice, all right, I'm getting something here about, it could be literally about singing or again, like your creative talent, Spirit Fox, trust your talents in changing time. Some of you guys have like a podcast, YouTube, something like that. But for others of you, I'm getting something here like too, where it's like this person is watching you. They could be watching you. They could just be watching you. Wow, star ancestor, follow the voice of your soul. For some of you, this is some form of a higher level soulmate. This person feels activated by listening to you. All right, Gemini, Scorpio, Aquarius. I'm getting Leo. Sag. Hmm. Did I say Pisces and Cancer? Taurus as well. Um, yeah, somebody in this energy is watching you do something creative. All right, harness a talent or this is something that you need to know. If you're in the process of sharing a gift or exploring a talent, it doesn't have to be um, only masculines watching feminines or feminines watching masculines i'm getting like this could be same sex you know take it how it resonates you know how it resonates you guys i'm getting like there's something going on here where somebody is watching someone okay they could literally be watching you online with this mirror here it could be a feminine that's watching you masculines somebody's trying to trust their intuition about you is what i'm getting hmm Messages for the collective in this reading. Somebody thinks you're the goat is what I'm hearing. Like somebody thinks that you are. That's Capricorn energy. Somebody in here, it could be a Capricorn watching you. You could be a Capricorn. Somebody may feel like you are the best at what you do. Whatever it is you do, they're like, you are the best person I've seen. 633 on the time. All right. You, you're the best hairstylist. You're the best chef. You're the best uh, fashion stylist or designer like i'm getting somebody here has great style as well somebody really likes your style somebody in here makes jewelry okay 39 or you would be great at making jewelry 39 is significant somebody could be born um i was gonna say born on the <laughs> born on the 39th no somebody in here could be born in 93 or 39 is significant so um 10, 11, 12, could be a Sagittarius or a Capricorn that I'm talking to or about success. Congratulations. Yeah, somebody either views you as being very successful or 
I definitely get the vibe where somebody feels like you are successful or you will succeed in a certain field of work. All right, or in whatever it is that you're doing, the moon is here, Pisces, Cancer again. Also 50, somebody could be 50 or somebody could be born in May. So Taurus and Gemini. Look at these black cats. Somebody in here likes black cats. There's something about somebody being very independent. All right, so you could be single right now, whether you're a masculine or a feminine. You could be very single right now or you're in this space where you're discovering yourself, mastering a craft, following your intuition, following your feelings. All right. Yes, look. Conclusion. And I feel like it's causing you to close out an old cycle of your life. Somebody definitely is a writer. Somebody writes. For some of you, there's something significant about a journal. I heard screenplay. Somebody writes screenplays. Somebody could be born again, December, so Sagittarius and Capricorn. But I'm also getting Pisces and Aries. I feel like somebody wants to tell you this. Like everything that I'm telling you right now, somebody wants to tell you this. Something about somebody's eyes. Somebody really likes somebody's eyes. I'm hearing, hold on, we're going home. So he's like, I got my eyes on you. You're everything that I see. I want your hot love. And does he say emotion or devotion? Endlessly. I can't get over you. You left your mark on me. Somebody feels stuck on you, boo. Whoever I'm talking to. All right. They feel like, yeah, 44. Some of you guys. This is somebody that's very playful. This could be even be someone you have a child with. Again, somebody likes kittens. You could be younger than this person. Uh, 44 is 8, so August. So Leo and Virgo could be relevant. For some of you, this isn't even romantic. Like, this is somebody that's watching you that, like, really admires what you do. You don't know this, though. All right? 16, 32 could be relevant. You don't know this, though. You may not feel seen by this person. You may not feel like this person um, likes what you do or cares at all. For some of you, you're very, like, funny as well or cute. This person thinks you're cute. I want one more card and then bottom of the deck, please. Yes, look. Now I'm hearing beautiful um, with Snoop Dogg and Pharrell. 40 is significant. Somebody could be born. Um, what's 40? Somebody could be born in April. <laughs> could be Taurus or... Um, Taurus or Aries, as well as differences, Virgo and Libra. Why did I struggle with that? Yeah. Hmm. For some of you, this is someone from your past. That feels this way. I'm getting the vibe that somebody is admiring you. All right. Um, oh, my eyeball. <laughs> my right eye just itched. I think right eye itching is an omen. I don't know if it's a negative omen or a positive omen. I think it's positive. I'll put it on the screen if it is one, like a positive omen. But for some of you, this person is definitely watching you. There's something significant about the next full moon. Change. Yes, look. December. Could be a Sagittarius or a Capricorn or a Pisces or an Aries. It says the frequency of change supports our ability to gracefully dance with the forever changing nature of reality, both inward and outward, so that we can appreciate the sweet release of the old and the birth of the new. Somebody is ready for something new. Or somebody is ready to start something new, a new project. All right? 
32, Merkaba. For some reason, every time I pull this card, I, th I think of about the word merc. Like when somebody like gets pissed off and like tries to fight or something, like I'm going to merc you. Um, I don't know where that comes from. <laughs> I don't know where that comes from. And I'm not sure where, you know, who's using it. But if maybe that's relevant. I don't know whether somebody has argued with you or maybe this is somebody you've argued with or... I don't know. Maybe somebody a little crazy. I don't know, y'all. I don't know. It says Merkaba, number 32. So that's another five. All right. So it is Taurus and Gemini energy again. It says the frequency of Merkaba supports our ability to use our consciousness to traverse into other layers of reality and dimensions. It activates our access to our Akashic inheritance as well, merging the totality of our experience into our present to serve our highest purpose yes yeah, so for a lot of you guys there's something sig significant here about your akashic records um your past life uh the skills that you've carried from a past life remember when i said that with the isis energy um some of you guys definitely work with isis or maybe you've been getting called to work with isis um but i'm getting that vibe off of this this reading like some of you guys have some sort of past life skill and there's something here about you and the person that you're dealing with being very like two different types of energies but complementary this black and white cat like i'm getting somebody is very of the light and you know very light filled and very positive and very open um or very optimistic and another person could be a bit darker doesn't mean it's a negative thing whether it's you or the person that i'm talking about 28 could be significant somebody could be 28 somebody could also be um born in october could be a scorpio or sad oh nope look scorpio and sagittarius somebody could be a sag for sure but i was gonna say scorpio and libra all right so um but scorpio and sagittarius is november so some of you guys could also be born in november um 9 10 no but that's october though very weird i don't know why i said that it says the frequency of gaia reminds us that we are infinitely connected to one another just as we are to our great mother and to the universe that birthed us all there's something here about you and this person's connection to earth all right maybe you both are very um serious about the planet about saving the planet about helping the planet all right maybe you both really care about being outside you enjoy nature a lot I keep seeing this the end on that card something is coming to a close though or something came to a close in the past that may be significant that maybe allowed people to align all right I could be talking to a divine masculine or this is about your divine masculine whoever I'm talking to whoa too many cards look romantic love Ooh, you could be 30 years old or 39 somebody could also be again born in march so pisces and aries or born in december capricorn and sag says the frequency of romantic love supports our journey to feel whole and complete through the experience with and reflection of a conscious lover. It also says the frequency of integration supports our embrace of every aspect of ourselves, allowing what we perceive as positive and what we perceive as negative to harmonize in a balanced symphony of life. You get, you get this vibe with this symphony stuff. Like somebody definitely could be a musician. Somebody could even like classical music. All right solar plexus there's something here about feeling confident somebody's belly is significant as well you could be pregnant right now or yeah even when we talk about the kids like maybe somebody wants to get you pregnant or like somebody is pregnant with ideas hmm Somebody also cooks because solar plexus is making me think about stomach. Somebody could have stomach issues. All right. I'm also getting to like, this is a side note, but somebody could also even have, and this isn't for everybody. I hope this isn't what's going on, but somebody could also be having like stomach ulcers. And a lot of times people can get stomach ulcers from stress. So somebody in here could be stressing out. Okay. Um, and you needed to relax. <laughs> you need to relax so you can stop experiencing that but i'm getting like somebody stressed out why i have no clue messages for the collective in this reading 
This could be you stressing out or someone else you're dealing with stressing out. Somebody could also be having issues with their stomach because of like what they eat. So be mindful of that. Like of your diet and things. Oh, I don't like how that shuffled. Yes, this could be about a soulmate of yours. This could even be a friend or a lover. Or you both are lovers and friends, right? What's the overall energy of this reading for the collective in this reading spirit? Overall energy for this reading. Okay. The Ace of Pentacles. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Big bag. Page, <laughs> page of cups. I was going to say pace of cups. Somebody's taking their times. Times? Oh, I'm sick of myself. I'm so tired of Mercury Retrograde for real. For some of you, this is a peace offering. Somebody's trying to bring you something to apologize. For others of you, this is like a new love offer. Somebody's trying to offer you love. Ooh, or like a creative opportunity. Somebody's trying to offer somebody something. What's at the bottom? Oh my goodness. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Libra, Taurus. There's something significant about lotuses here. Also doves. Okay. I'm getting prints like doves cry. Maybe I'm just like my mother. She's never satisfied. First off, I love Prince. Did you hear the line that um, Kendrick Lamar said about Prince? Bum. What about them beefing? There's a lot of different things that I'm thinking about right now. Somebody in here could be a Gemini. You could be dealing with a Gemini. Gemini could be significant. There's something here about a new opportunity or, again, somebody watching you. Watching you work. All right. Yeah. Or you're thinking about starting a project. If you've been thinking about starting a project or if you've been trying to consider uh, sharing a talent of some sort, I see I see a lot of success coming in if you choose to do this for whoever I'm talking to. For some of you, you're like seamstresses or designers or like influencers. There's something about fashion. OK. For others of you, I'm getting something here about music for sure. Artwork, like I said. Okay, I'm also getting acting. Somebody in here is an actor, actress. Hmm. Somebody's name could be Neil. Why am I getting all these end names? Nadia, Neil. What's the energy of the person in this reading? The fool. Aquarius, Aries. Somebody's having a new beginning. All right. Taking a leap of faith on something new. Starting a new project. They're nervous, but they're starting it. All right. Yes. Tower. Somebody could even be afraid of like what will fall in the process of pursuing something new. But I feel like somebody's gonna have wish fulfillment if they go towards this new thing or start this new thing scorpio and aries aries leo sag aquarius and aries cancer pisces scorpio this is who i could be talking to i could be talking to a cancer pisces scorpio wow somebody daydreams somebody daydreams about being with someone or being in a relationship or having some sort of success in a certain career field or again there's somebody watching you like admiring you while you're doing whatever you're doing while you're taking these risks some of you are definitely actors by the way because I keep getting this strong like I'm getting Romeo Romeo <laughs> wherefore art thou Romeo like somebody is in um plays roses could be significant white roses Hmm. I believe white roses are like a represent purity or um, like it's like an apology flower. 
Somebody could be trying to apologize to you. You could be wanting to apologize to someone. Why is this here with this tower card? Yes, could be to a high priestess. Or you are this high priestess, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I'd also say Virgo here as well. Somebody's having like an epiphany. I feel like somebody's intuition is going crazy. Either you're having like crazy messages about this high priestess or you are this high priestess and you're getting like hella downloads. Somebody's getting all kinds of downloads about where they're going to have success or whatever type of like success they're trying to aim for. Look, eight of wands. Somebody's like, I got to tell you. All right, it's giving Aries, Leo, or Sag. Somebody's like, I got to tell you about this, or I got to start this project, or I got to say this thing. Yeah, somebody's been waiting to, to start this project or to say this thing, to do this thing. Now I'm hearing started up by Lloyd Banks. Like, I'm getting like, somebody is like, I'm ready to start it up. I'm ready to write this book. I'm ready to write this thing. Somebody's very tapped in as well. I don't know whether you're realizing someone's very tapped in or if someone is realizing this about you. And you don't even have to be a reader to be very tapped in. I'm getting like, again, how you choose to show up in whatever field of work you're in. Somebody can pick up on the fact that you are not like other people. You're ahead of your time. For some of you, you are very smart. I'm getting something here about your intellect. Like, not only are you a channel for spirit, but it's like, you're the type of person that carries a lot of wisdom. I'm getting somebody is realizing how smart you are. Or the universe is giving you some sort of idea, whoever I'm talking to. And I want you to know, like, you're very smart. You're very in tune. You are very equipped for what you're trying to achieve. Do it. Do that thing. What's the external energy of the collective in this reading? What's the external energy? Mm, seven of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I feel like this is somebody watching you in secret. Could be a Cancer watching you. All right. Look, black horse, white horse. Like the black cat, white cat. Somebody's trying to figure out how to come your way. Did that want to come up in reverse? Ten of Pentacles in reverse? This could even be a family member. Somebody could be trying to figure out how to come your way. Or I don't want to say that this is somebody trying to stop you from having this. But I'm getting like this is somebody that is trying to come your way. They may want to work with you. Hmm. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Cancer, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aries, Leo, Sag at the bottom of the deck. There's something here about somebody wanting to work with you. All right. I'm also getting too. Somebody could be feeling really burdened about your destiny. About where you're headed. About your gifts. Hmm. This person is weighed down by time. Like this is somebody that's stressed out about the time passing. Now I'm hearing hung up by Madonna. Where it's like every little thing that you say or do, I'm hung up. I'm hung up on you. Somebody could feel like somebody could have literally have hang up on, hung up on you. There's something here about phones. Yeah, look, I shuffled it. Could be talking about a Capricorn. Did you see that? obsessed somebody could have literally hung up on you or there's something here about um somebody feeling very like hung up on you like they don't know what to do they don't know how to move forward they don't know what to say for some of you if this is an ex look i shuffled it and he's still there for some of you if this is an ex this person may feel like um they're no longer stable their house is not a home without you there all right and they're trying to find a way for you to work with them again for somebody, I just heard Esmeralda, all right? You could be seen as like a gypsy woman or there's something about you that's like gypsy-ish. Gypsy, <laughs> gypsy, gypsy-ish. That's what I meant to say. You could be very beautiful. You could even be like, um, I don't want to use that term, but I'm getting like exotic looking. Like somebody could be exotic, like very dark skinned or 
um, have very like significant eyes. That's what I was getting about the eyes. You can be very darker skinned with lighter eyes and dark hair. You don't have to be. Or there's something here about you being very beautiful. Like the contrast between skin, hair, eyes. Somebody might like this about you. But I'm getting an energy here of somebody that like feels unstable without you. Feels like they aren't complete without you. Um, if this is somebody that you know. If this is somebody you don't know, it could be an Aquarius. If this is somebody that you don't know. Somebody could be in a situation where they're like in some sort of unstable relationship, unstable family situation, unstable job or something like that. And they're watching you and they're seeing what you're doing and they want to come your way. What is that Ten of Pentacles reverse though? Why is that there? Ten of Pentacles reverse. Could be a Cancer Pisces Scorpio on the outside of you. Somebody feels like, I don't know. I feel like somebody feels like they didn't get what they wanted here. Like they felt like they were going to get something else and they didn't get that. I don't know if this person was manipulative in the past or if this person has been trying to manifest you back, but they feel like they're, they're very emotional about the fact that they didn't have something stable with you or, um, that this dynamic or this investment is over. Yeah, seven of swords. For some of you, maybe this person was trying to avoid you because they thought you were a player. Yeah, for some of you, this person could have been holding back from you. They thought you were a player. They thought you were going to run away from them. For others of you, this person had this type of energy, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius energy. And they avoided you at one point in time because they were in this space. But now I feel like this person feels bad because they feel like they missed out on some sort of opportunity. Hmm. Now I'm not going to lie. I'm seeing a lot of pinnacles out here. I feel like somebody could really be like hung up on the fact that there's a financial opportunity that they're missing out on. However, I do get the vibe where um, this could also be somebody, because I did see the Ten of Cups, this could also be somebody that feels like they missed out on a love opportunity, like building a family with you, building a life with you. Why is this relevant for my collective in this reading? You got the Queen of Swords. Some of y'all are like, no. <laughs> Some of you have set a boundary with this person. All right, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Yes. Or there's something here about an air sign in this energy. For some of you, I said, this person could be in an, an unstable, oh my Lord, this person could be in an unstable relationship of some sort. So there could be someone in their energy that um, talked them out of this, out of coming towards you or something like that. Why is this relevant? Maybe this person is telling this person to hold back from you. Okay, yes. They're like in things with that person. Or somebody's telling this person like, you're going to get your heart broken. You need to heal. For some of you, this person hurt you. And I feel like they're see they see you hurt. They know they hurt you. Okay. They know they did something or said something that may have hurt your feelings. They can tell that you're healing as well. Maybe you did set a boundary with this person and they're like, I know that you're healing from me. Like, I know you need time. For some of you, this person feels like you're healing from a fire sign or an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. For others of you, I'm getting like... This person feels like you are, for some of you, this person is healing. They could feel stuck in their head though. Because of everything that you're building for yourself, 
It's like if they were told to move away from you or if you did set a boundary with, with this person, this person is watching you and they're like, I am supposed to be with you. I'm supposed to be around you. I'm supposed to be living life with you. Like, what's this about? What's the challenge here? Page of Wands. What's the challenge here? The Queen of Pentacles. A lot of queens out here. So maybe, I don't know. Page of Wands, Queen of Pentacles. Why is this a challenge? The Emperor, wow. For some of you, this person is in a relationship. For others of you, this person getting the courage to offer you a connection is a problem. But for some of you, this person is in a relationship and they're torn. All right, between you and someone else. Could be somebody from their past. Taurus, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sag. Yeah. Why the two of swords here? It's like somebody won't open up. Yeah. You got the king and queen of pentacles out here. Either this person is in a commitment or this person is like very indecisive about offering you a commitment. For some of you, this person has to get a divorce or they have to move away from something karmic in order for them to offer you something more. But I feel like this is someone that has a hard time with listening to their intuition. That's why they're impressed by you. For some of you, you either have said things or did things that like have been in alignment with them i don't know whether you are talking to this person and you're giving them insight of some sort or whether this is again like if you are a reader or so of some there's something that you do where this person is able to see you and when you do it this person is like wow you know i love that too or i think that way too like somebody is impressed by you mm-hmm What's the two of swords about? It's like this person may feel obligated to something else. Another job, another relationship, a living situation. And this is why they're having a hard time with moving forward. To give you justice. This person may even want to apologize to you. I'm getting somebody wants to apologize for something. For how they treated you, for misjudging you, for making you close yourself off. Now you're closed off. You set a boundary with this person. I feel like even if this person is making moves towards something else or someone else, it's like they're still confused about whether they did the right thing or... what they should be doing why was the tower card there why is the tower card there some of y'all have realized that this person lied about something could be about something from the past mm-hmm oof Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sag, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Some of y'all realize somebody lied about something from the past and you decided to like move forward, look at new love, go towards something new, like you're open to new things because this person lied about something. Could be about a relationship that they were in or about some sort of betrayal that took place. This person could have betrayed you somehow. Yeah, I'm getting something was exposed to you. Aries, Gemini, Virgo, Leo, Scorpio, 
You could be these signs. This person could be these signs. You realize some sort of lie about something from this person. Something that was toxic. This person could have even lied about, you know, them, you know, being focused on you or being supportive of you or something like that. Like, there's a weird vibe I'm picking up. Somebody could have lied about an addiction as well. What's the advice? I'm hearing I Know by uh, Jay-Z. So, yeah, somebody could feel like they're, they know that you're addicted to them or they want they wanted you to be addicted to them. That's why they played the games, because this person normally gets people addicted to them. Your advice, though? Why is this the advice? Whoa. <clears throat> For a lot of you, your advice is to focus on yourself right now, okay? To focus on yourself, to focus on your passions. Because I do feel like you're in alignment, and I do feel like you're moving towards your emotional fulfillment by walking away from this person, okay? But there's something here where it's like, this person was spinning some sort of illusion for you in the past, all right. They could even be spinning one right now. Like when they come back around, they may be trying to tell you that they've changed. They haven't changed. Or there's something about the energy where it's like. This person is still going to be back and forth in your energy. Or you're going to feel indecisive about this person. But I'm really getting like you might not be indecisive about this person. This person will be confused still about you. Why is this here? Maybe not completely sure about how to balance things out. No, I'm getting they're confused because they're still obligated or stuck in some sort of other investment that they haven't moved away from. Yep, this karmic investment. This thing that they may need to get a divorce in or this thing that they may need to um, remove themselves from. And I feel like because this person's in this energy, it's like you got to choose yourself. What other advice do we have for my collective in here? Yes, I feel like some of you, you are going to connect with a soulmate soon or for, for a lot of you, this person is going to come back around or offer you something. All right. Yeah, they feel like you're worthy of it. You've been waiting for it. But for others of you, I'm getting like you've been waiting for this. So you'll receive it. But in divine timing. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You or they. Some of you have really been waiting for reciprocity or balance in a situation. And if you haven't received it from this person, I feel like some of you are going to have whatever this skill is, this talent that you have, this thing that you're going to pursue, some of you have a talent where it's like, as soon as you put it out there, and I'm getting some of you are also going to share your story with people, whatever story that is for you. Whatever talents you have, I see you having so much money that you'll be able to do charity work, like give back. Like so, enough money to pay off somebody's college tuition and be okay. Like, okay, bye-bye. You know, more than one person. I'm getting somebody in here is going to make a lot of money. Mm -hmm. And it's their karma. It's their good karma. Yes. And not only that, you got the lovers. Wow. Why is that? Why is that? With that lovers, Gemini, somebody in here is also going to get love too. Oof, because you learned your lesson. Because you learned your lesson. Some of you are completing a lesson here. Around something from the past. Taurus, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sag. Like some of y'all are like ending something. Whether you're this fire sign or this fire sign is the one that you're ending something with. I'm getting somebody's going to end something and look towards the future. And that is going to be the thing that, yes, 
that brings them emotional fulfillment. Mm. This theme is so common in all these readings. I wonder why they keep bringing I'm going to uh, use my little book. You know I love this book for my divination tool. Let's see what they're going to say at the end of the reading, how this ties into the reading for you guys. I'm curious. I also don't know whether I want to put this on Patreon or on YouTube. I'll figure it out when I post it. Join my Patreon if you want exclusive content, though. Messages for the collective in this reading. You have August 1st, August 2nd, August 3rd, August 4th. August 1st says when to accept and when to let go. Accept what you can impact and let go of what you cannot change, right? You have August 2nd. It says nurture relationships of integrity. You do not need to have the same interests or personalities as those you surround yourself with. What matters is that you connect with your heart and that you value the integrity of your connection equally. Sustain your growth. Foster the, these friendships and they will bring you more joy, love, and connection than you ever knew possible. Relationships built of integrity will carry you through both the best and the worst of times. Always create space for them. You also have August 3rd. It says, always choose happiness. Every single day and every single moment, you are given the opportunity to choose happiness over despair. Choose happiness. And then last but not least, you have August 4th. It says, a beautiful life isn't a perfect one. Mm. The most beautiful life is the one you choose for yourself. Decide how you want to spend your time and then do that. Even when your life doesn't go according to plan, know that you've chosen a life that suits you. And remember that a beautiful life isn't necessarily a perfect one. All right. So listen, that's exactly what you needed to hear for somebody in this reading. I hope you enjoyed the message. I'm going to leave it at that. 7-Eleven on the time. 7-Eleven, 7-Eleven, 7 twice. Man, 7 twice. Somebody's in a, in a lucky phase of their life, a, a very blessed phase of their life. So I don't know what you are currently doing or what you're feeling like pursuing. But, honey, it looks like things are going to work out in your favor. Trust your gut. Trust your feelings. Um, follow your intuition. And I see this working out for you. OK, so this is all that I have for the collective in this reading. Thank you so much for watching. Check out the channel songs down below. Keep being creative. Book a personal reading with me if you need further guidance, and I'll talk to you later.